Hello viewers, you are welcome to Inky Culture channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make a box pleated skirt. And the measurement I need is the skirt length and the skirt circumference, the waist circumference, which is 30 inches and the skirt length is 25 inches. And first of all, we'll start by cutting the band and the band on fold is one and a half inch on fold and half inch to join it to the skirt. So when I open it up, I will have four inches of band so like when it's on fold it is two inches but when you open it up it is four inches that's the band width then the band length will be the waist circumference the waist circumference measurement of the skirt is what the length of the band will be so the length of this band is 30 inches 30 inches is the waist circumference i'm making this skirt for so since this material is folded into two as you can see it is folded into two so that means i'm going to measure out 15 inches that is 30 inches divided by two which is, which will give me 15 inches then i will add the sewing allowance of one inch to it so i'm going to go ahead now and measure 15 inches plus one inch sewing zipper allowance plus one inch zipper allowance it will give me 16 inches so i'll first of all take 15 inches then add one inch zipper allowance to it so i will mark out 15 inches then add one inch and the one inch is for the zipper allowance so i'll go ahead and cut it out So after that, I'm going to cut out stay and iron the stay to half of it. It's just like a soft interfacing to hold in the material. So right away now, the next thing to do is to do some calculations. Like the waist is 30 inches as you know. So how many number of pleats do I need? That's the question you will first of all ask yourself. Then for this tutorial, I need 10 pleats. You can do more. Or you can do less but since i need templates on this skirt i'm going to divide my waist measurement by te by 10 by the templates that i needed so dividing 30 by 10 i have 3 inches so i'm going to mark 33 inches on the on the band that is i'm marking the 3 inches on the waist so i'm going to mark it out like this 3 inches here 3 the next one the next 3 inches from the last point mark it out place your table on the last point also mark the three inches so i will now have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten for the ten pleats so the next thing is to go ahead now and determine how bulky i want my pleats to be because I know the number of pleats now, but how bulky do I want it to be? So the pleats on fold is I want it to be as bulky as one and a half inch. So if I fold it, I want it to be one and a half inch. So if I open it up, it will be three inches. So for box pleats, like kissy plenty, the normal pleat, uh, kissy plenty that we call it. So for a kissy plenty, I will need three times two. I mean for invite inverted or box split, I will need three times two. You know, two pleats will be coming together. So I'm going to have six inches for each inverted or box split on each of the points. And I have six, ten points. So I'm going to multiply six by ten. That means I will have 60 inches altogether. So I need 60 inches of fabric for my box split. I need 60 inches of fabric for my box split. Having done that, so I'm going to add the waist circumference. The waist circumference is still there. That, that is separate, which is 30 inches. So I'm going to add 60 plus 30, and that will give me 90 inches. So the next thing is to add the zipper allowance. The zipper allowance is 2 inches. So, adding 2 inches to this 90, I'm going to have 
the zipper allowance is ZA, 2 inches. Adding it to 90, I will, get, I will have 92 inches altogether. So right away, the next thing to do is to cut the skirt length. Then the skirt length for this tutorial is 25 inches. So I have any allowance of 1 inch and then joining allowance on the upper part to the band of half inch. So since the band is one and a half inch, you don't need to add any extra allowance to it. Everything will be equal to each other. So I have 25 inches here. So right away, notch the zipper allowance out on the fabric. Now I told you the length of this back fabric is 25 inches for the skirt length. So notch out the zipper allowance and since the since this is the side the zipper will be the the pleat that will be here that will be facing the zipper side will not be inverted it will be a single pleat but it will join with the the other side zipper allowance you know we have two sides for the zipper if it's joined to the other side it will make it a box pleat so from the zipper allowance, I'll place my tape measure and measure the 3 inches and, and fold it up for my pleat. You know I told you my pleat on fold is one and a half for a single pleat. So I'll press it out like you are seeing. What I'm pressing out on fold is one and a half for the volume of my pleat. So when I open it up, it will be 3 inches. That's why I measure 3 inches, placing my table on the zipper allowance to... 3 inches. So I'll iron it out like so. Then the next thing to do is to place my tape measure on the last pleat and measure another 3 inches. Because 3 inches is the distance before I pleat another, I do another pleat. 3 inches is the distance. As you can see on the band, what is on the band is what I'm measuring here. I will measure the 3 inches, I will mark it out with my chalk, then I will now place my tape measure again from that point that I measured out. From that 3 inches, I will measure the fold. A single fold is 3 inches and a double fold because we need a double year because this is a box split. The next split we are going to do is a box split, not a single split like that of the zipper allowance area. So, I will first of all do the single, like you are seeing it, fold it up and let it meet the part that I marked out. So, you can iron it out. So, after ironing it out, you know I told you this one will be kissing. So I'll measure another three, another three inches, which is the volume of my pleat. Like I told you, when it's not on fold, it is three inches. That's the volume of my pleat. After I've measured that three inches, I'll bring it to make a kissing pleat with the one that I have done before. Then I'll press it also. I'll press it down and use pin to hold it so that it will not loose I don't want it to scatter so that everything will be accurate so after I've done a box split I've done a single box split now apart from the one that is on the zipper line I'll measure another 3 inches the 3 inches I measured now is the distance on from is the distance of each split from each other the distance of each split from each other that's the three inches so after that i'll measure six inches that i needed for the box split you know for every single box split i need six inches to make it so after i've measured three inches i'll hold my fabric like so to make a kissy plinting on this side i'll fold it up to meet the three inches that I marked, then fold it up on the other side to, to meet each other to form a kissy pleating. I think it is very easy, it's not difficult at all. 
So go ahead and press it with iron to hold it in place and hold it also with pin so that it will not so right away i'll do another pleat so from the last kissy pleating you place your tape measure there and you place your band like so so the distance of each pleat from each other like i told you is three inches i have marked it with my chalk and that is what you are looking at so checking the volume of our of our pleats you know it's six inches for every inverted pleat or for every box split it is six inches so measure six inches from that point that you marked out measure six inches so after i've measured the six inches the six inches will form an a box split so i'll divide it into two because it is a kissy plinting they are coming together so you can see how i've divided it into two which will give me three three so form a kissing pleating with it like i'm doing i think it is very easy iron it out like so it's not something difficult at all so go ahead and iron it out and do what i have done here for the rest of the fabric Pin it down with your office pin so that it will not lose up. So, and that is what I have done. This is the last pleat. I want to show you the last pleat. The last pleat that will, that is a single pleat that will need to meet with the other zipper allowance to form a box pleat. You know we have one here and we also have one here. This one is facing the zipper side. The one I have done is facing the zipper side. So the one I want to do here too must face the zipper side. So, and I've measured the 3 inches. Fold it up and let it face the zipper side and iron it out. After ironing it out, use your pin to hold it. Use the pin to hold it. Make sure you press it carefully so i've done that the next thing to do is to join my band so i'll go ahead now and make sure it aligns with the chalk all the box splits aligns with where the chalk is every three three inches there will be a box split that's the the, the idea that on every three three inches there will be a box split so do it gradually so I'm going to join it gradually I'll go slowly so that there won't be a mistake or error so make sure the points you marked align with every box split and that's the logic And we have almost gotten to the end of the band so I want to show you this carefully so as you can see everything is perfect so opening it up this is what I have so I'm going to fold the band and stitch it up so I'm going to use the method you can use any method to stitch it just make sure it is stitched neatly so I'm using a stitch in a dish method I'll open it I'll fold it like so and turn it to the right side and hide my stitch in between the lines that's what that's the method I'm going to use to stitch the band so I'll be stitching it on the right side I'll fold it up I'm folding it up with half inch so so it's still the half inch you can use your iron to press it up 
so that it will the half inch will be in place till you finish your this stitching so open it up once in a while to check if it's still in contact if the thread is catching it make sure that your needle is catching the band the half inch fold at the that is under So don't forget to hem the down part with by one inch. So I've done that and this is the band. I've done the band and you can see it is very neat. So before we do, we fix the zipper. Let's go on a short break and I'll be right back in some minutes. Do you desire to be a professional fashion designer in just a few weeks? Then what are you waiting for? Enroll at Yinki Kuto Academy today. Our online, offline and physical trainings are open in the following classes. Advanced class for 4 weeks, intermediary class 8 weeks and beginner class for 20 weeks. For inquiries, please call 0805-794-4477 or 0903-218-4192. You can equally connect to us on our various social media platforms at Yinki Kuto. Yinki Kuto home of dressmaking techniques you are welcome back so place your zipper then mark out the length you want it to get to it must not get to the metallic part so mark it out then that means the point you marked out is you are going to stitch you are going to stitch to that point and i have done that so I stick it to the point that I will fix the zipper. So go ahead on your machine and fix your zipper. I have a lot of videos on how to fix zipper, but you can still use this. Fix your zipper gently. So you can go ahead and finish up your zipper fixing like so and what I have done for one side I will do it for the other side too in order to make sure that this part is neat. So my zipper has been fixed and we have come to the end of this tutorial as you can see. This is the back of the skirt. You can hardly see the skirt, the zipper side. The zipper, I can open up the zip now. This is where the zipper is. So you two can do what I have done. It is very simple. If you follow the method, it will be as easy as anything. So if you like our video, please don't hesitate to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Subscribe to my channel, like and also share my videos. Thank you.